So, turns out, I'm not dead. Which is a good thing. Anyway, I, it's been a little bit since I posted and uploaded any sort of videos or artwork recently, and that's for a number of reasons. Uh, busy at work, uh, which was the main reason for a while. Just didn't really have that much extra time to create artwork outside of the job, which is frustrating. But it was, you know, you got to work, got to make money. And I, you know, I love my job. It's pretty cool. Tattooing is great. Um, but I, uh, also had another curveball thrown at me, which is that there was an outbreak, uh, where my wife works and, uh, we both got sick with the COVID. So we've been fighting that for the last th three weeks or so. Still really drained, but starting to feel better. Obviously not contagious or anything anymore. So I finally get to go back to work. Um, which has been good. <laughs> Feels weird being gone for so long. But I also, because I had three weeks, had plenty of time to work on the studio, the recording setup. I got to mess around with both my video kind of setup. I have a really cool new arm rig set up for my camera. Um, got to tinker around with my microphones and my lighting a whole bunch, as you can see with the cool backdrop behind me. I also got to do some artwork, which was really nice. Uh, to start off with the one that I'm going to be doing for today's video, which is the tentacle piece, as I guess I'm calling it. Honestly, I'm terrible at naming things. And if you guys come up with a cooler uh, title for this piece, please leave it in the comments below. Uh, but I was redoing a piece that I did a while ago that I really enjoyed it myself. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of uh, really wanted to redo it, be not because it was bad or anything. In fact, I think I, I still prefer the original one a little bit, but because I needed to take up some extra wall space and I wanted to make it bigger. Um, you can't see it here, but uh, the wall right behind the camera also has a bunch of artwork that I'm trying to fill up and get all of these walls decked out. Keep both my uh, inspirational sources around, uh, like some of my James Race pieces coming up the wall here, or uh, just in general, like, you know, there's a lot of empty space on the walls. And as you can see, uh, panel board is not the most entertaining thing. So um, I decided to redo this piece. Once again, bad title, I know, just the tentacles piece. So if you come up with something cool, maybe we'll leave it in the comments below, we'll come up with something. I'll, I'll retitle it if we come up with a really cool title. Um, anyway, let's check that out. So what you're watching is actually my second attempt at this piece because the original piece was all done with a fountain pen. It was all just freehand and well, I mean, there was rulers and stuff, but uh, it was just all done on a whim, just ink. And I planned on initially doing that, but I, I did do a quick little pencil line and immediately pulled out my rulers, grabbed my fountain pen, drew a line down and immediately smudged ink across the entire page, which was a huge bummer kind of a letdown but at the same time I guess it uh opened up my uh, use of all of my other pens and tools so in this piece I ended up using just a multitude of different things I used pencils I used lots of multi fine liners I used a couple different fountain pens uh, mostly I wanted to use fountain pens because I wanted to use one of my own inks that I've been acquiring along the way uh, with this piece I used mostly uh, the heart of darkness ink which is by Noodler. It's a very good ink. I will say that it's not very waterproof. So if you're planning on trying to use like watercolors or something with them to color the piece afterwards, I would go with something uh, for a different fountain pen ink, more like a platinum carbon ink, which is just substantially more waterproof in the long run. Uh, it just depends on what you're trying to do, but uh, it's a nice black ink for the Heart of Darkness. And I really wanted to make use of that for this. Um, it, the the original piece was about four by eight inches and I wanted to boost that to 11 by 17. Uh, the, the 11 by 17 one that we're working on here is a lot cleaner than the other one was. Uh, there, I made some minor changes as it always is whenever I'm redoing one of my older pieces. I do really like redoing pieces because I it just a it got me to jump to the fun parts of art quickly without having to come up with a plan without having to think too hard about it, especially considering I was fighting illness and I really was my way of fighting illness is one of two things a sleep forever or B keep myself incredibly busy doing things to distract myself from how awful I feel uh, in this particular circumstance turns out with COVID one of my like symptoms is incredible insomnia and I could not sleep so that whole plan was out the window and it went instead to me distracting myself by working on my office changing things around as much as possible uh, reorganizing things, uh, moving desks around, uh, cause I can't just clean something. I have to completely change my living space if I'm going to do that. And, uh, just wanted to jump into art. So I think that this whole piece took me 
approximately like four hours to work on. Not the longest thing. Uh, the, the other two projects that I have coming up in uh, videos soon took me about like 18 hours a piece. So uh, I put a lot more time into those more than I normally would put in, but I was just, you know, aimlessly do doodling and drawing and needed to uh, just keep myself busy. Um, I had a lot of fun working on this though. I did add a lot of tedious things that I normally probably wouldn't have added. Uh, like I added a bunch more of the little suction cups from the original one. I added uh, stippling still, which I don't know why I torture myself with that. I actually hate stippling. I, I like what it looks like. I like how it comes out, but I just hate doing it. It always looks cool and I always convince myself to start it. And then like hours later, I realize how long it took me to do one little tiny area. <laughs> so it's surprising that I continually convince myself that it's the thing to do in each of the pieces I'm working on. Um, I, I would say that the main difference between these two pieces is that I did a lot of uh, freehand like vertical lines in uh, the original one, which I honestly think that that's the part that I prefer in the original piece. Uh, but I do think that it would have been really difficult to do on such a bigger piece of paper. I would have had to have a lot more movement. There was gonna be a mistake somewhere and I'm very happy with how the ruler one went. And down the line, I might make a t-shirt of this for myself. I, if other people are interested, let me know because I, I, I could potentially make t-shirts for other people as well. Uh, but I, so I wanted to keep it pretty clean and I'm not quite sure what, whether or not it's gonna get screen printed or digitally printed. So I wanted to make sure that the lines were open enough that there wouldn't be any issues with that when transferring it into some sort of t-shirt. Um, all in all, I think that uh, playing around with the fountain pens was really fun and jumping in with all the multi-liners was uh, also kind of good. I haven't actually used multi-liners in a while. Ever since I got an iPad, I tend to jump to that rather frequently. It's my go-to. It's just really easy. I don't need to pull out a bunch of supplies. I don't have to find the, the space or the time to pull out traditional stuff. I do love working on traditional pieces and I do want to do that more, but uh, ever since I got a puppy, it's really hard to find the time to just lock myself in my office without somebody barking or growling at me the whole time, especially when uh, it, when filming is involved, which, uh, you know, if I'm going to be doing any sort of traditional art now, I feel like it should be recorded so I can uh, actually use it for my channel. And I'm especially considering I want to upload more content more regularly. So it's definitely tricky to find that that balance. Uh, my iPad kind of makes it really easy because I can record everything while I'm working on it. And uh, it, it, I don't have to be in my office for it. I can be sitting on the couch. I can be doing whatever I need to and multitask a little bit easier that way. Um, but I'm still going to try to tend to balance it out between traditional art and not, especially because I, after cleaning my office, I've found all sorts of fun art supplies that I would love to play with. Uh, various different inks that I've bought that I haven't even got a chance to try out yet. Um, I really want to get back into inking with brushes again because I found all of my brushes. And uh, I, I would really love to kind of deep dive back into that. I think it was like three years ago now was the last time that I did a big project for Inktober uh, using only brushes for inking. And I, I miss that. It was really fun and I would love to do it again. Actually, I'm surprised I didn't do that for this. But this would have been a good time to do that with at least the tentacle parts of it anyway. Um, all in all, though, I'm super, super happy with how this version of it came out. Like I said, I still think that there is something about the more freeform original one that I, I, I tend to like a little bit more. But this one's nice and clean. It looks really good. I do think this would be a better like either decal or like a T-shirt or something along those lines. It's a lot more graphic. And uh, I'm, I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of those like cool, clean lines, I like the organic tentacles and the weird boxes. However, I still need a cool name. I'm going to keep going back to that because please give me some ideas. Shout it out. It's a terrible title. Well, I um, hope that you enjoyed this piece. It's 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 definitely a, a random one as far as things go, but I'm very happy with it. It's something about it. I don't know what it is, but I, I, I like the way it looks. It's fun. It turns out that like skulls and tentacles and uh, like space things are like my go to or nautical things, too. I guess I draw a lot of like deep sea life whenever I don't know what to draw. Eh, I don't know what that says about me, but it's definitely something I enjoy.
Thank you for watching my video, and if you enjoyed it, please hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. Uh, the next couple pieces will be uh, digital pieces, actually, where I use Procreate. I spent far too much time on the next two pieces, but I'm very proud of them. I'm happy when they came out. Uh, keep an eye out for those. They should hopefully be out either later this week or early next week. Um, I'm going to make two videos out of it. You'll see when we get there. It's a whole thing. Uh, anyway. <laughs> If you haven't come up with a good title for this piece, please share it in the comments below. I definitely need help at titling things. Anyway, have a good day, guys. Bye.